UPPGE is Blender's open source 3D game engine that was forked from the old game engine and deployed with Blender itself. But today we're gonna cover some of the most iconic games that were made with the old game engine in addition to the new ones made with the UPPGE. We're gonna start with a game called Yo Frankie. In 2008, it was among the first games made with the Blender game engine and it was an open source video game made with the Blender Institute, part of the Blender Foundation, originally scheduled for release in August 2008. It's about a rebellious squirrel with a strong urge to annoy other animals. The graphics are good compared to games made in 2008, especially knowing that it was made with the Blender game engine. It's smooth and has many functionalities. The game is based on the universe and characters of a free film produced earlier in 2008 by the Blender Institute called Big Buck Bunny. Dead Cyborg Dead Cyborg is a first-person view and hard sci-fi adventure game set in a world where robots are common elements in everyday life. The game follows a cyberpunk style with futuristic details on large buildings in ruins and so on. It was released on the 12th of July 2011 by an independent developer. It had a deep storyline, it is also an episode based game where each episode had 2-4 to four hours of gameplay and the full game is 5 episodes. In addition to that, it is a donation based game so donations that come from the previous episode allow you to create the new ones and it is free and available on Windows, Mac and Linux. Fly in the house The game is about an annoying noisy fly buzzing around inside a house where the lead character smashes everything to kill it. Once the player is holding an object, he can press F button to fling it wherever the targeting reticule is pointed. The game's controls are the same as those used in first-person shooter video games, and the mouse's sensitivity can be adjusted from the options menu. Since the fly is tiny and moves constantly, it can be tricky to hit it, but luckily you can choose to eliminate it, which makes it easier to spot. And thanks to the latest patch, the behavior of the fly has been enhanced over the initial release and the power of your throws has been enhanced as well. The player earns points by destroying objects and you can even build up combos by stringing the destruction together. Somewhere in Zebulon The game was released in 2017 and it is a simulation space civilian game that is filled to the brim with the atmosphere of cold space and zero gravity. It features usual game mechanics with plenty of exploration, puzzles, resource extraction, crafting, fights with alien forces, and seizing space stations. Overall, it is a nice looking game that you can have a lot of fun playing with. It is not the best game on this list, but it sure is an interesting game. Yurman's Soul This game was released in 2016 by Black Flag Studios and published by Plugin Digital. It is a strategy game in a persistent universe where each combat is held in the form of a tower defense. The player can pick an island to invade and spy on his enemies to evaluate their forces. Also the player's opponents try to reclaim the islands they control, and you will have to defend your territories from enemies' sneaky attacks. At the same time, you will invade their islands. You can also toggle forward and backward between the islands because the universe is persistent when you build a turret. It will stay on the island except if the enemies gain control over the island. Tomato Jones The game is about Red Tomato with a hat that tries to get the entire treasures in the Mystic Castle. It is a casual action indie and adventure game and it is a physics based puzzle game. It combines the classic gameplay of RPG platforms with the skill driven game style of ball rolling games. The game is episode based. It was developed and published by HA Studio in 2016. The goal in this game is to collect every coin and find all the hidden golden artifacts at the end of each level, while avoiding various dangerous traps, obstacles and enemies. Overall the game is made to mimic the atmosphere of Indiana Jones movies. Dengu Adventure It is a 3D platform style game and it was released on December 6, 2018. And it was developed by Cubite Interactive. We can say that the game is a platform, indie, puzzle, shooter, casual and adventure game. The main character Dango is the mouse who ventures in different places like sewers, factories, houses, lakes and so on, and face many enemies along his way like cockroaches, electric wires, mosquitoes, frogs, spiders, etc. The game can be played on Nintendo Switch and Microsoft Windows. Bumper 
Bumper is a casual game released on September 12, 2016. In this game, the player must destroy the vehicles as much as possible, trying not to get caught by cops, in addition to reaching checkpoints in time and enhancing weapons. Overall, it is a nice game that was created using the Blender game engine. Crum Battle Arena This is a fun, competitive hack and slash and parody game that was developed and published by HA Studio. It belongs to the genre of action in the free-to-play adventure games. It was released on June 30th, 2020, and it has really good graphics in comparison with the other games on this list. Even though this game was created by only one developer, it looks amazing. It doesn't have a deep story because it seems that it is focusing on battles and giving the player good gaming mechanics and experiences. There is an old version of this game that was released in 2015, but it wasn't received well by developers and players alike. However, the new version seems much better. Future's End It is an FPS single player game in which the lead character fights crazy robots that hate humankind. The player can destroy parts by shooting the arms and the other parts of those robots to kill them before they kill him. As you make progress playing this game, you will face stronger enemies that will allow you to have access to more advanced weapons. The game's environments and navigating mechanics look interesting and a bit similar to what you can find in AAA video games that were created by big companies. I hope you found this video about games made in the Blender game engine useful. If you have other games we didn't mention, you can leave them in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.